of the Jason Tawney Show. I'm Joe Wamba, joined with Jason Tawney, head coach of the baseball team. And, Coach, you guys go down south again for another three-game set, uh, one and one and two uh, this weekend, but scoring a lot of runs. <laughs> we definitely scored some runs this weekend. Uh, we had, uh, I guess we scored 17 on Friday and a combined 22 on Saturday. So we're hitting the ball. Mm-hmm. Uh, unfortunately, when you score that many runs and you, you lose, that usually means something else is going on. Uh, pitching wasn't too bad. We, we struggled defensively. Uh, I'm, I'm really hoping that uh, first weekend we pitch really well. Mm-hmm. Second weekend we hit really well. So hopefully next weekend we'll actually put it all together yeah. you know, and go 3-0 and at our, at our own home tournament that's coming up. And at that home tournament, you're going to have a, another class of ball here. You're going to have uh, Frostburg, Scranton, and Keystone. You guys are going to need to bring it. Yeah, we're we're going to need to bring our A game, and and you know it's uh, if you include the fact that Hopkins is hosting the other half of the tournament, and you have Hopkins and Cortland as well. Um, good lord, that's uh, uh, those are all World Series teams in the last five years, uh, except for us in Scranton. But uh, but it was worth it. It's fun. You know, we're gonna we're gonna enjoy it. We've you know last time we played Cortland, uh, we lost to them twice in both one run ball games in uh, North Carolina a couple years ago. Keystone and us, we used to be in the same conference. We 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 play good games with them. Um, and same with Frostburg. Um, you know, we've beaten Frostburg many a times, especially when we're in conference together. A little, a little more challenging now. We didn't play that well the last time we played them. So hopefully this year, this weekend, we'll, uh, we'll change it around a little bit. You mentioned in the season preview video that you set the schedule this way for a reason. Uh, you're going to play tough opponents, getting you ready for Absolutely. the conference. What does this weekend do in terms of getting you guys ready for more games down the season line? You know, a couple of things we always like to do. We try to play in three-game sets because that's what we do in the conference. So we want us getting used to playing one on Friday, two on Saturday, or something along those lines mm-hmm. for pitching. Uh, but really what we're trying to do is continue to extend our starting pitching, continue to get more innings out of them. We're hurt this week uh, with a couple of things. Uh, Dan Williams was not available this weekend uh, due to an injury. Um, not not season-threatening, but uh, probably miss a start. Maybe two. We'll see. Uh, but that hurt us a little bit. But we, we, other than that, we're trying to stretch out our other starters uh, so that come conference time in uh, in a couple of weeks, we're what, two weeks away from uh, conference opener, our starting pitchers can go seven innings comfortably. Uh, that's really what we're trying to build up to. That's what uh, my next question was going to be, is, you know, lifting the pitching count or higher, hiding, you know, making the pitch count higher yeah. <laughs> uh, for the starters and, you know, try to limit how much you need the bullpen. Um, but – is that the game plan as we go on this weekend? It is. It is. You know, we you know, first weekend, you know, our starters, 80 pitch max. You know, mm-hmm. uh, we'll pull them out in the middle of an inning if we have to, but 80 pitches. Second weekend, we try to extend to 90. This weekend, we're trying to get up closer to 100. After this weekend, everything becomes performance-based. It's, uh, you know, if you're pitching well, you stay out there. Uh, we, we never extend our pitchers too far. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, you know, it's going to be about how well you're performing. And then, yeah, that'll help limit the innings in the bullpen because – yeah, our bullpen was struggling a little bit. Uh, we, we think we may have found something here at the end of the, um, the game yesterday, the end of the second game. Uh, we'll, we'll see how this plays out, but, uh, but we, have, we have something special on the mound, I think, that's been, that's been hidden all year. <laughs> and getting back to your home field, it's a tough field to play on uh, hitting-wise. You know, hopefully yeah. the hitting that you guys had going on this weekend will continue, but the weather being more up north, is going to play a little bit more of a factor. Yeah, absolutely. We've had some we've we've had some great weather so far. First, I guess all but yesterday's games, we we're basically in shorts mm-hmm. as a coaching staff until game time. Um, yesterday was a little cooler, uh, but we still hit. <laughs> so we'll see what happens uh, this weekend. But you know, with us, it's it's the wind starts to play a much bigger factor on our home field. Um, Friday is looking, you know, a little a little wet and a little windy, and uh, we'll we'll see what we do on Friday. We'll see if that. Uh, if that's a conversation we have with their coach and try to adjust some things. But, but yeah, we'll see how the hitting goes. We, we've continued to hit the ball well, though. I, guys like Kevin Copas, I mean, he's got 15 RBIs in six games. That's, you know, and, and he's, he's adopted our hitting philosophy and what we've changed this year. And, uh, you know, he had his first career home run on, fri- on Saturday, his first career triple on mm-hmm. Saturday. There was even a joke he had his first career double, but that was not the case. But, uh, <laughs> but no, he, he's, been, he's been tearing the cover off the ball. And what's nice is it's not just him. It's mm-hmm. been up and down our lineup. Freshmen coming in, you know, at bats right away, newcomers. We're just hitting the ball over the place right now. I, I hope we do this all year. <laughs> yeah, It's a strong lineup, and it's a versatile lineup. You know, any of those guys could pretty much hit anywhere in that yeah. those slots. Well, in addition to that, um, you know, we've got some speed guys too. I think we have 18 stolen bases in six games. So I mean, that's three a game. We've got a couple guys that can really run the base as well. And, 
you know they've got they've got the ability to and, and they're going to steal some bases mm-hmm. we're going to let them go um we'll take the base that they're going to give it to us well, it's shaping up to be a pretty exciting season especially with those numbers like that and we're awfully excited for you guys' season opener or home opener at uh over on the green spring campus yep we're uh it's going to be the newly named sugar field is what it's going to be uh going to be named our scoreboard is uh uh, I believe it was completed this weekend. It was supposed to be. Uh, I know when we get out to practice here tomorrow, we'll we'll see it. But um, but it's going to be Sugar Field, and it is it is ready to go. Well, Coach, we wish you the best of luck this weekend, and uh, thank your time this week. Thank you. He's Jason Tawney. I'm Joe Wamba. This has been the Jason Tawney Show.